Alright, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this padded mitt that I use with my gambeson. So to make this, what I have is my pattern here. I have some bias tape for the red trim. I have my stuffing that I'll be using and I also have more of the canvas that I use for my gambeson. Alright, so for the pattern, it was really easy. I just put my hand down, traced around to get, you know, the shape of my hand. And then I also went around and did about, you know, an inch around the sides. And I also calculated how big my cuff needs to be because my gamison sleeve is really thick and I need to be able to get my hand in there and slip this over the sleeve. So that was basically it. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the padding that I'll be needing for the gloves. So I'm gonna need two of these one for each side of the hand and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to pin it to the fabric and draw the shape that I'm going to be cutting up. You can see I've pinned it here just to kind of hold it in place Now I'm going to go and draw along the edges here and get my shape that I will be cutting out onto the stuffing material. That is done. Finished tracing. I'm going to take out the pins here. Take out the pattern. And you can see the shape has been traced out on my stuffing material. Now I'm going to cut that out. There is the padding. I'm just going to take out the pins here. And I'm trying to do this one handed. And there you go. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the outside layers, but with one difference is that instead of tracing the pattern along exactly, I'm going to add about another inch to a half an inch because I don't want to be sewing through all the layers of padding and the canvas. It'll just destroy the needles and so you want to make it so that when you sew the seam later on, you're only going through the layers of canvas and not all the padding too. So I'm going to pin it down, draw it, but I'm going to add an inch around the sides. There it is. It is traced out. And as you can see, the pattern just sits inside. I've added that inch on the edges. And so I'm going to need now four of these. So I'm going to cut that out and we'll see what that looks like. There they are, as you can see, I got four of these here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one layer of the padding and I'm going to sew a pocket just to make it easier to work with and to stop this stuff from fraying. And I'm going to make two, basically the faces of the glove. There they are. As you can see, I went around all the way around, sewed it, made a little pocket so the padding stays in place. Now I'm going to take my bias tape and I'm going to sew the cuffs on. And we'll see what that looks like. That is it. As you can see, here is the bias tape here to make the cuff. It's really nice. So next step is I'm going to put these one on top of the other, pin them together, and then figure out how much separation I want for my thumb and then I'm going to cut that out and then it will be sewing it together. There it is. I've sewn both halves together. I also cut the hole for the thumb and stitched around the opening and then went back onto the pattern as close as I could. All we have to do now is take off all the excess around the stitches and then flip it inside out and we should have a glove. There it is. That is the completed glove. I trimmed all the excess around the edges and then I flipped it inside out and there is the glove. Just put it next to the other one here. You can see there they are.